Welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step method of making an isometric drawing with dimensions using BricksCAD. If you don't have BricksCAD software, you can get your free trial copy using the link in the description. So let's get started. So now we'll start making this drawing on an isometric plane but as you can see we are right now in the rectangular plane uh, as you can see the cursor is exactly at 90 degrees so that means we are in the rectangular plane so the first thing that we need to do is change from rectangular to isometric plane to do that go to this option here and now expand the drawing drafting and then coordinate input option now inside this we have snap and grid expand this scroll down and here we have snap style which is set to rectangular snap change that to isometric snap now close it and you can see now that the cursor has changed and it is now showing the isometric angle so we are ready to make our isometric drawing now select the line tool and I'll start with the very first line here in this drawing now it is not making line as per the isometric direction so that's because of these settings so here we have ortho and polar tracking so you can activate ortho if you want it to align with respect to isometric plane so now it is aligning properly so we've got this vertical one and I'm going to use the very first dimension of six unit all right so that's six unit line now here in this direction I just need to make another line of length 10 so just 10 and press enter now we just need to move in upwards direction again and this distance is once again 10 now in this direction it is 4 and here well actually that previous distance was 5 it, it wasn't 4 so I'll just press ctrl Z and this is 5 and now this distance is 4 so 4 enter and then all we need to do is just join it with this one and we are done now I'll press enter again to repeat the line tool and I'll make this line now as you can see this is not making this line in this direction because of the isoplane which is selected so I'll press F5 and this will change the isoplane so now we are using isoplane top as shown here on the command manager so with that we can now make this line so this line has a length of six units so six and now again we need to move up so I'll just press F5 to change the isoplane once again now we are making on the right isoplane so this distance is 10 units so 10 and we just need to join it here all right so that's done now let's make the remaining part of the drawing so I'll press enter and here we just need to well make the lines but before we do that maybe we'll just finish this part so I'll just click here and now this distance is 6 6 enter and just join it with this one but before that I'll press F5 so that it aligns properly and then click here all right once again I'll select this point now this distance again not moving there so I'll press F5 to change the isoplane and now this distance is 6 enter and in this direction I'll just randomly click here so that it's long enough to pass this line we can later trim this one so I'll go to trim and I'll press enter and click here to trim it okay so this part of the drawing is complete now we just need to make that cylindrical shape to do that I'm going to use the ellipse tool now as we are making an isometric drawing we simply cannot use a circle because if you use a circle in this case it won't even look like a circle I mean it is looking like a circle from this perspective but not actually from the perspective of an isometric drawing so we just need to use this ellipse tool now with the ellipse tool selected and with the top isoplane selected as well you can make this but here it won't let me select the midpoint of this top plane and to do that to just activate the midpoint I'll press escape and I'll join all of these lines first I'll select it all I'll type join and press enter now it is connected into one single polyline and the geometric center will be visible now so let's go to this ellipse again and now I'll select this ISO circle option now this ISO circle option will let you create the isometric circle which we need move your cursor closer and here we have the center select and now specify the radius which is 2 in this case so 2 and enter so here we have it now I'll select copy select this one enter and make a copy right along this direction but again it's not moving in that direction so I'll press F5 and now it is so I'll type 8 and enter 
Finally, we just need to connect these lines. So go to line tool and join the quadrant. So we have the first quadrant here and the second here, and then similarly select these two quadrants and join them together. Now, a little bit of cleanup work. So I'll go to trim, enter, and we can trim these things. So our drawing is ready. Now the next step is creating dimensions. And for that, I'll go to this annotation panel. And from here, I'll select aligned dimension. The first dimension that I'm going to add is this. So from this point to this, I'm going to add the first dimension. And right out of the box, you can see that its size is really huge. We just need to fix it. So I'll type D, press enter. And now this will open the dimension style. So here in the dimension style option, I'll just go to this fit tab. So in this fit tab, you can actually see this overall scale option, which is set to one. We of course need to decrease the size. So I'll make it smaller like 0.3. All right. And I'll close it. This looks better. So I'll leave this size of the dimension. And in a similar way, I'll add all the other dimensions. So again, I'll go to aligned and I'll add the second dimension right about here. And uh, one more dimension here. Another one here and another one right here and one last dimension right here so we have got all of these dimensions added now these dimensions are not aligned with respect to the isometric plane of course you can see that it is aligned with the current plane of our view as per the rectangular snap so we just need to align it and to align this you need to modify the style of these dimensions so for that just go to dimension edit. So that command is DED. So type DED, press enter, and this will start the dimension edit command. Now here, go to this oblique line option, and we just need to change the angle with which these extension lines of the dimension are inclined. So this extension line should incline with this, this extension line should incline with this and so on. So the first thing is, well, these lines. So I'm going to just select these two dimensions, this and this, and I'll just make sure that these two are inclined with respect to this one. And to do that, well, select press enter and now specify the angle of this line. Now, angle of this line is 30 degrees with respect to the positive side of x-axis. So if you make it a smaller angle right here, it's going to be 30 degrees. So we want this line to just incline with respect to this. And for that, the angle will be 30. So type 30, press enter, and there we are. In a similar way, you can incline all the other lines. So again, DED command, press enter. Now go to oblique lines and select the one which you want to change. So we want to incline this one with respect to this line. And this one should also incline with respect to this. So select this, this. Actually, we need to incline this one too and this one too with respect to this line. I'll select all the remaining four dimensions, press enter. And now this angle is, well, 150. Now, why 150? Well, just look at the angle of this line. Now, this line is inclined to an angle of 30 degrees with respect to this side. So if this tiny angle is 30, then this remaining angle should be 150 with respect to positive side of x axis. And you know that all the measurements happen from this side. So the angle should be 150. All right. So now you know the angle, just type the angle, which is 150, press enter, and it is all inclined properly. Okay, after inclining this, there is one more thing that we need to fix. The dimension text. Now, the dimension text is inclining with respect to the dimension line, but we need to just make it all vertical. Now, to do that, I'll just select the dimensions, actually all these dimensions here. And after selecting this, you can go to properties, which is right here, and scroll down. In the text area, we have an option of text inside a line, which is set to off. Just make it on. And now every single text inside these dimensions will become vertical, perfectly vertical like this. And that's what we want. So I'll just hide the property panel. And maybe we just need to fix this too, because it is intersecting the line, which it should not. So I'll just move it slightly here. And there we are. We have got all the dimensions as well in our drawing. And in this way, you can create isometric 
drawings. But before I wrap this up, there is one tiny detail that I need to add. And that detail is the radius here. If you are planning to learn AutoCAD with step-by-step -step comprehensive video lessons, quizzes and practice exercises supported by Q&A forum from instructor, then check the video courses offered by us on SourceCAD website. You can get access to all the courses with one single subscription and you can start learning for free using 7 day free trial. So whenever you feel like opting out, you can cancel the subscription anytime and you are also protected by 30 day money back guarantee. So click the link in the description of this video to start your 7 day free trial. So we simply cannot add radius or diameter using these dimensions because it won't recognize it even if i select diameter look at this it won't do anything it is just an ellipse so i'll use multi-leader instead so i'll select multi-leader i'll select this and i'll add this leader line but as you can see this is huge but nevertheless i'll just add it so i'll go to the symbol option and i'll add the diameter symbol and the diameter is four Okay, so we've got this multiliter added, but now we need to fix its size. Now to fix the size, once again, we just need to go to this multiliter style. So just type the command M leader style and press enter. And here we are. We have got this multiliter style and here also we have the scale panel. So we just need to change the scale. I'll make it 0 0.1. And with that, let's see the result. Well, this is much more manageable. I think we should have changed it to 0 0.2 for a better result. So I'll just press enter to repeat this command and I'll just make it 0 0.2. I'll press tab key and I'll close it. Now that's much more manageable size. So I'll just make it kind of like this. All right. And here we are. We have got our isometric drawing with all the required dimensions. And that's how you can make isometric drawing as well as add dimensions in BricsCAD.